Hi guys, hope you had a good Christmas. Um, thought I'd do my little look at Lou as I've had for Christmas and um, just for a bit of fun. So let's dive straight into it, get into the bag. Get this big packet out of the way first, look at them. Sidewinders, scary zeal, absolutely stunning lure. Get some in your box. I think they're about nine or 10 quid for three. Bargain. Don't cast brilliant, but if you don't need distance, nothing better, nothing better. Right, let's have a look. What else have we got? Right, let's get this other big one out of the way. It's the old Abu, the old Toby three pack. Um, what are they, 18 grams. So I've never fished a Toby, so that's why I've had some. I thought, you know what, um, lures have changed a lot, but fish haven't, so they used to catch back in the day, so they're still gonna catch now, aren't they? Um, so anywhere I need a little bit of distance, should be uh, okay. And the, the thing about these is you do get quality hooks with them, which, you know, they're cheap enough, but you're still gonna get quality hooks on them, so. Yeah, compared with some of the, what I would call the Chinese metals I use, the hooks are okay, but they don't seem to last, so. But then again, generally I lose them, don't I? Okay. So, we're looking forward to chucking them. They should be interesting. Have another Dell, let's see what we've got. All right, oh, there we go. Look at that. I haven't used one of these, flying condom, or should I say flying C but uh, I assume that's what it stands for. Um, size three, 25 gram that one. Nice bright orange. Never used one before, so that's why I've asked for one of those from Father Christmas. I might just open that and have a little look if I can find a way in without chopping the lure. Well, the hook sharp, just stuck in mate, through the plastic. So there we go, looks like a little brass at the front, 25 grey maps. Yeah, feel good the hooks. So yeah, looking forward to uh, chucking that. A bit of coloured water, nice bright orange. That should do the trick, should do the trick. So looking forward to chucking that. What else we got out? Ah, we have another one in black. Uh, I saw somebody catch a flounder on one of these um, last year. We might have been a place, can't remember, didn't get that close, but looked like a flounder from distance. Um, he was fishing for bass in an estuary situation and picked up a flounder, so... Oh, well, I've never caught a flatty on a lure, so... Might have a little go at that later in the year, won't bother getting that one out, but... Uh, ooh, it's exciting, exciting stuff. Let's see what else we got. Oh, well. We don't need to talk about this much, do we? What a great lure. 16 gram, black pearl, ISP seeker, 87 mil. Fabulous, fabulous lure. Let's go back again. Ooh. Ah. So we got the sand eel pencil. Ashley bought one with the uh, saltwater hooks. 90 mil and 13 gram. So, early part of the year, small sand eel imitation. Come May, hopefully, that's going to bag me a couple of fish. Let's wait and see. Ah, 30 gram metal. Mm. This is, uh, I think, one that came from AliExpress. So, it's your old Chinese jobby. But it looks, mm, well it would do. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna give you a close up of that. Let's take it off, but we can't get it off, it's stuck in. You can see the quality of that. I mean, I'm sure it all just gets smashed off, won't it? But that looks really good. And on the hooks will last. To be fair, the assist looks pretty good. I think the, the trebles, it looks like a proper cheapie. So, yeah, looking forward to getting that stuck on a rock. 
No doubt. Right, let's get on. Hold on, quick bit of cup of tea. Right, so look what else we got. Oh, then we're from my son. Then they're still wrapped up, but I know what they are, obviously. We'll, get, we'll, we'll go have a go at them in a minute. Right, there's a little hint at what I'm going to try and do this year. Hopefully, I'm going to try and get myself a sea trout. Old suing in Wales, if you want to call them that. Um, never caught one. I feel like I had one on and lost it, but we'll never know. So, 16 gram sea trout pack from Dam. Um, I bought those and I thought... You can't really go wrong. I can't remember the price. Well, I say I bought them. I had them for Christmas. I chose them. Um, they were, I think they worked out just a little over a pound each. But you know, when you're buying a dam, you're going to get quality hooks on a metal. So you can't really moan at that. I think, that, I think they were, I can't remember the price. I'll have to, maybe I'll put it on the screen. So now I thought that's reasonable. And you get a little box as well. Um, I don't know whether I've got anywhere to chuck that box apart from just straight in my big bag. But yeah, I'm sure once I've lost them all, the box will be useful as well. So happy with them. Oh, now, well, that one. That's a Sandhill pencil. This one's a bit bigger. It's a 125. It's the blue color, 19 gram. That should cast a mile. Absolutely lovely looking lure. Look at that. I'm not sure how much you can see of that. I'll do some close ups after with some of these. Um, but yeah, looking forward to chucking that. That should be great. Although I didn't get the salt water hooks. Um, I don't know how much difference it makes, but I've normally lost them before the hooks are gone, to be honest. Anything that sinks, terrible. I like to fish near the bottom. Talking of which, last one in the bottom of the bag. Westin, I don't know how you pronounce it. Solve pylon, solve pin. Um, that's a metal and it's uh, 24 gram, 110 mil. Um, it's quite a nice shape to it. So I'm hoping that will work on a fairly slow retrieve, but I don't know, don't know. Getting a pile of stuff here. No. I'm, I know what that is, I'm saving it to all that. It's not a patch either. No. I can't remember what's in it. No. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. More seekers, a couple more seekers. Another two 16 grams. At the end of the day, if somebody doesn't know what to buy you for a birthday or Christmas, just have a few seekers. They're always good, always good. And it's a useful present. I don't remember what this is. Um, I'm gonna have a little look in here. Exciting stuff. Oh, I don't know what it is yet. Yeah. So, I'm a big fan of the big scaries. Um, as you'll know, so we've gone for a, some 10 gram smaller versions. Uh, not fished with them before, so we'll we'll give them a try. And uh, I'm thinking early part of the year, if I can, I'm, I'm hoping to get out and find some deep water, um, try for some pollock, and I thought they might be the job. They might do the job. Right, last one. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh. Oh. Yozuri. Crystal minnow. Floating. 19 gram. 130 mil. Quite a big lure. Uh, I've never been a fan of hard lures, but last year, last season now, I did have a few on my Yozuri. Um, and I did uh, oh, some one of the, me of the hard lures, which I don't really use them, which is probably why I don't catch on them that much. Um, but I really enjoyed using the Yozuri. 
um, the 3D minnow that I used this year. You've probably seen it in some of the videos, I'm sure. Um, so I've had a, a bigger one of them. Crystal minnow. Chose that colour. Don't know what colour it is. Um, HAJ it says on the back. Maybe that's the colour, maybe it's not. But looking forward to whacking that out and uh, see if we can find something. Anybody uses this type of lure a lot? Oh, I'm after some advice. Anybody knows what? I want something that I can tow behind the paddleboard. So when I'm going um, between what I think are going to be my marks or where I'm fishing, I want something that will work well at a low speed or a low retrieve. So anybody got any suggestions for something I can chuck out the back and pull behind, um, say something that's going to dive one, fairly deep dive of one to two metres, maybe at a fairly slow retrieve. Um, so yeah, well that's me for Christmas. I've got plenty of lures to chuck in the sea and lures. Um, let us know in the comments what you've had, what you're intending to catch on them and uh, let's look forward to next season. Cheers guys. So this is the, the AliExpress one. Um, if you look at that, it looks absolutely stunning. Really does. Oh no, this is a lure that's uh, has definitely caught me rather than it catching anything. Only had the one, so let's see how long it lasts. Ah, um, the damn seed trout pack was just under a tenner, so two quid each, but quality hooks on a box. Um, close up of the uh, Sandale pencil, if nobody's seen these, they are absolutely lovely. Lovely, look at that. Um, where's the other one? There it is. Love this round here. I'm sure that the bass is not going to see that, but hey, it made me buy one, didn't it? Beautiful, lovely. There's the Yozuri floater. Look at that. Big hooks they are. Only two hooks. Don't like lures with three. Even at this size, wouldn't want three. If there was a middle one, I would probably take it off. But yeah, it looks nice, that. Yeah, another one that's probably caught more fishermen than uh, fish, but it's one way to find out. Hopefully it'll do the job for us. Just get this winter out of the way now, and uh, we can get back out there. Join the sea. Look at that. Can't wait. Guys, thanks for sticking with us over the winter, and um, hopefully see you early part of the year. A um, couple of months time maybe, back out on the rocks or on a beach, chucking some lures. Catch you later guys, cheers.